guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle. And I'm Ken and today we're here to talk about the latest Wes Anderson movie, Asteroid City. More uh, like Ass City. Ass Toroid City, you could call it. <laughs> sure. That uh, might work better. But yeah, I'm semi not excited to talk about this movie. I was going to say semi excited, but I don't know how excited I am to talk about it. Before we get into it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We cover movies and TV shows here on this channel. We do entertainment news live streams every Monday night. All kinds of yeah. stuff you'll enjoy. So hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Like the video, like she said, and then leave us a comment uh, down below. This movie just dropped on Peacock, so it maybe did. some more people are checking it out. Did you watch this movie? What'd you think of it? Let us know in that comment section below. Okay, uh, where do you want to start with ass? Toroid City. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. Wes, Wes Anderson, he definitely has his his style, okay? He's, he's got his thing. Very, very whimsical, very abstract. Yes. In nature. Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's no, there's definitely no denying that his, his film is beautiful. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Beautiful movie. Um, yeah. yeah, this movie definitely has, you know. It has almost like a pastel like color palette to it. I yeah, think. it was it was very um obviously it was like a western um Yeah, it was a I did I did appreciate the western setting. I do like my Yeah, westerns. so lots of oranges and you know, pinks and um, just very beautiful movie. Yeah. But honestly, we can just talk about the colors of the movie for the yeah, whole Yeah, I, I feel like, unfortunately, I feel like that was the only thing that um, it really had going for it. Yeah. And um, I'll just say right away that I was not like anticipating loving this movie or anything. Um, again, his style is not really my, is not usually my cup of tea. Yeah, and to, and to be uh, completely honest, we really haven't seen a ton of Wes Anderson movies. Uh, we watched the Royal Tenenbaums together, mm -hmm. and we watched the I think Budapest. The, the Grand Budapest Hotel, yeah. and I actually think that's it. Yeah, so this might be to, our third Wes Anderson movie. Yeah, but I mean, I feel like that's enough to know. Like, yeah, yeah. just seeing those, I definitely see. I feel like I get a good grasp of what he is, and um, but yeah, I don't know, I. This movie was just kind of, I don't want to sound stupid, but it was kind of confusing. Because yeah. I'm like, okay, is this a movie about them making a play? Making a film? So what I gathered from <laughs> it is, and I was going to say the same thing. I was like, I watched it, but I honestly, I don't even know if I could tell you the plot or like what happens. I, I know certain things that happen in this movie. It was like a, a play within a play. Like it, it's about this play that's made. Yeah. And then you see the play, but then there's also real life happening within the play and they portray of the, play. the real life in black and white so the black and white stuff is real life and i imagine that the color stuff was the actors that were in the play or tv show or whatever it was supposed to be yeah, the movie's set in the 50s so it has that kind of like old timey like 50s um kind of vibe to it as well aesthetic yeah but for me like when they were actually in the play when it was colorful and everything yeah. Like, specifically in the scenes with uh, Scarlett Johansson and the guy who I don't know the name of. Uh, Jason Schwartzman. Yeah, he... He's been in a lot of Wes Anderson movies. He was in Rushmore way back in the day. Gotcha. So. Yeah, like, their scenes together, I felt like there was this um, kind of wall that was... I don't know. Is that what you call it? Fifth wall? Fourth wall? <laughs> fourth fourth wall. You fourth. created a new wall when you I said fifth wall. I created a new wall. I was just going to let you run with it. Okay, well, um, correct me, okay? okay? I just felt like there were moments where they were talking about you know, being actors and actresses. Um, I don't know. I just felt like there was a, a wall being broke. But then again, maybe that was like a part of the actual play. I don't know. That's what I meant by confusing. I was just kind of unclear about what, what this was. <laughs> yeah, um, me too. And um, yeah, I can't say I enjoyed this one. It was a, it was a snooze fest quite literally for me at certain points in the movie. I looked over and Ken definitely was dozing off a few times. We split this What's up going on? over we split this up over two days as well. This movie yeah. is only like an hour and forty five minutes. Which if I could say anything positive about it, like it when we first started watching it, I was like, I think I I dig this vibe. It was very like calming and relaxing and then all of a sudden 
I just started knocking out. Gotcha. Uh, so this is a good movie to put you on must like, have if you need enjoyed, some sleep. Did you enjoy the uh, Brian Cranston narration? Yeah, I did enjoy the Brian Cranston narration. And I mean, speaking of that, you know, I feel like, too, this movie was kind of one of those, hey, look at all of the actors in this movie. We have yeah. so many people in this movie that kinda, you know and love. Kind of. it wasn't enough for Similar me. to Oppenheimer, only Oppenheimer was really good and this mm -hmm. wasn't but i feel like wes anderson and christopher nolan are those directors that can get anybody to work with them mm -hmm. they just have that reputation i guess they're just really wonderful i i've heard from some people and actors that wes anderson's just a really delightful director to work with gotcha so they'll work with him for very cheap so he can get all these like a-list actors for me personally his like his like um uh humor or wittiness is just like not really my jam like I don't I just don't I guess I just can't appreciate it like it needs to be appreciated it, like it definitely has it's um it's you're, just like a niche I don't let's know let's just call it what it is you're not intelligent enough uh, maybe that's what it is it. it's, that's what's it's wrong. very you know I don't know quirky a little bit you're not a real fan of cinema i'm not i'm Michelle. not a film buff i'm not a you know critic. the way I'm wes not... anderson lines up these shots says so much about these characters and story well sometimes we appreciate i feel like that that can be annoying you know the like neatness of it and we got to <laughs> talk about this one part do we want to spoil this I don't think so you know you want to leave it for people but we're but at the end of the day we're, we're not recommending like... this movie so we're telling people to not watch it. Wouldn't this be the best way to tell people to not watch it is revealing this one part? No, absolutely not. Okay, well, I there's like this it's... point in the movie where something happens and you're like, what am I watching right now? How does this even fit in with I everything else? I think that else? was 100% intentional. And it just changes the course of the movie. <laughs> and I don't know. It was wild. It, it was, it was wild. There is a scene and it also... Um, looks different like the the thing that comes is like a different animated style yeah I was... um it was very weird and strange and i think that it was definitely intentional um and it definitely made me think what what in the world okay <laughs> <laughs> this is interesting yeah. um so i guess it did its job if that's what he was wanting but yeah, and another thing I'll say is I already made the comparison to like Christopher Nolan Oppenheimer. This is kind of almost very similar to Oppenheimer because it's a group of people, a big cast of characters that are like isolated in this town in the desert. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what Oppenheimer is. So okay. you can definitely draw comparisons different, between different the two. Different goals, though. <laughs> different goals, for sure. Different things that happen. Um, yeah, I don't know. Asteroid City. Uh, yeah. I, I give it a two out of a five. What do you give it? Oh wow! I, I I didn't like it. Okay. Uh, look, visually, it's it's very appealing. I'll give it a two point five out of five. I'll okay. be a little bit more fair and objective. Okay. Um, I I'm gonna say that um, I actually stayed awake for it through all of it, and um, I'm you know I'm gonna give credit where credit is due, and I'll give okay. it a three out of five. Okay, that's yeah. you know that's probably fairer than mm -hmm. my score because the actors that are in it are doing their job. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. Yeah. Just, um, just not my cup of tea, not my style. Yeah, it's, okay. it's a 2.5 for me. But we appreciate you watching our review of Asteroid City. Sorry if you hated it and our opinions on Wes Anderson and <laughs> Asteroid City. But definitely let us know your opinions in the comment section below. Like this video. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Turn on the bell notifications for all future videos and reviews. And we will see you guys later. Bye, guys.